Yo, what's good everybody? This is Zach Bob here with Solano College Sports Network. Got a very, very special guest here in the Falcons dugout. The home run king himself, Tommy Pavese. How's it going, man? Very good, very good. So you join the staff. You're going to be one of the assistant coaches this year. What's it been like kind of teaching these guys how to finally hit with maybe some pop this year? Oh, it's been pretty good. You know, I just I love coming out here. It's a good atmosphere for me. It feels good coming out here. Um, I enjoy working with all the players. Very good group of guys. Um, hopefully we look to uh, have a lot of success this year at the plate. So I know you played under Scott Stover. What was the biggest thing he taught you as a player that has helped you transition into being a coach now a few years later? Just to be a man. Just all around, just to be a man, uh, to grow up, not play like a freshman, play like a sophomore, wherever you go, try to, you know, elevate your level, just grow up. I know no one's going to hit 17 home runs this year. Probably not. Falcons, but who's the one guy on this team that maybe has got some pop in the bat that can hit some bombs for this Falcon squad this year? Um, there's a couple guys. Um, uh, Alex Crosby's one of them. I think that he might have a breakout year where, you know, he develops into having a good power swing. Um, Speeney's right there with him, and I think Wells is going to start. Zach Wall is going to start lifting the ball out of the yard eventually. So, Bobby Campos, talk about the importance of Bobby to this Falcon squad. Legend. Absolute legend. Love having him around. No matter what kind of mood anyone's in, he'll always put a smile on everyone's face. He's usually the first guy here after me. And then, uh, you know, <laughs> he's a real good guy. The players really love him. He's just a blessing to have around this uh, field. Do you think a lot of these guys know he was a, a legend running back for Vallejo? Uh, I'm sure they do, but when they look at them, they're like, eh, nah. I can't really see it, but... I mean, it was a little easier being a good running back six yeah. years ago, right? It really is. <laughs> All right, so I know you were a power hitter back when you played here with Solano. Who was one guy that you kind of molded your game at that was playing at the professional level? Ooh. If I had to pick now, he wasn't really good when I was around here, but Josh Hamilton, oh, I yeah. definitely love him. Um, I'm an old school guy. I like Trot Nixon from the Red Sox. Um, yeah, I was more of just a swag type guy, just go hard all the time and good things happen. So, What do you think Josh Hamilton's going to do with his new team, the Angels? How far do you probably going to rake because yeah. he's a lefty and he just sticks the ball every day. I've been telling people Mike Trout's going to score 200 runs this year. He might. He he's might. He's got pool holes right. and he's got Hamilton getting him in. Yeah, uh, Josh Hamilton is definitely one of the best hitters from the left side we have in the game for sure. Talk about Zach Wells. How important is he to this Falcon squad? He batted 380 last year, flirting around 400 last season. How important is he to the Falcons' success this season? He's pretty important. Um, you know, he's one of those guys that leads by example. He doesn't need to. He's not a raw, raw guy. He doesn't need to say anything. He's he not just like goes Spini, out and right? does it. Right, Spinney's. <laughs> he's still talking right now. Yeah, he probably is talking somewhere right now. But yeah, <laughs> Zach Wells. Uh, he's just. He's a good guy to have around. Like he's just like Bobby. You know, he just always has a smile on his face. Pleasant guy to be around. Um, I know he's going to have a lot of success down the road because of his work ethic and the way he takes takes it out here. So talk about the importance of sophomore catcher Aaron Brasher because I know he, he's he's got a decent bat, but he's absolute, he's a monster behind the dish. Talk about the importance of stud Brasher. behind the plate. Absolute stud, probably the best defensive catcher I've ever been around, um, and that goes for Ryan Lipkin. Ryan Lipkin had a cannon, but Ryan was a little better at hitting, but Brasher that's that's a straight general behind the plate. And Ryan Lifkin moved on. He played at USFS, right? Yeah, he played uh, USF, and then he played for uh, the USA team. Yeah. And he's doing really well, and we're really proud of him that he came from this program and uh, has had the type of success he's had. Let's bring back that crazy, crazy game against DVC. I want you to just talk about that as a memory and kind of the viewers that don't remember that game kind of explain what happened in the ninth inning towards the end part of that game. Um, you know, we were down by two, and uh, I told Sal Hernandez, the guy in front of me, I said, just get on base any way you can. He ended up getting on base, and they brought in the lefty, and uh, pretty much knew he was going to throw me an inside slider, and I actually stepped out and hit it. I went out of the yard, and then by the time I actually got in here from, you know, hugging everybody, and I sat down, I heard another ping, and it was Ruben's hit, and it was just like, is this really happening right now? This, you know, something you see on the NCAA World Series. You know, it's kind of an Omaha thing, what happened here, and it was really special. Definitely have it forever. It was a good time to be here for that. And how important is that? You went through that, and you know what it's like to win in the playoffs. Does that make it easier for you to tell these guys what they need to work on to get to that level? It is. You know, you can only say so much, and then they have to experience it for themselves. I mean, I remember we got boat raced my first year against Santa Rosa, and that was just the worst feeling in the world. Getting Santa boated. Rosa was a very good team, Especially too, since we beat them twice, yeah. and then we come back to play them, they just annihilate us at our field. So a lot of the kids that I played with, we were like, that's a bad taste. We do not want any part of that again. And, you know, we just 
came out here and just played our hardest, and then good things happened for us. So it's it's a good experience, and I try to put that on these guys. You know, to play every day. How big a role is Tucker Bishop going to have on this year's team? I don't know. He's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> he's too short, right? Yeah, he's a little bit. Is his license say like four foot eight? Yeah. Or? <laughs> yeah, he's pretty much going to dominate that corner. You know, yeah. um, he's probably one of the best gloves I've ever seen too out here. I mean, he's super smooth. I think if he was six foot, he'd probably be D Division One. But I'm glad he's not. All right, let's have some fun. One last thing: Super Bowl prediction, score, and winner. I absolutely hate the Niners, Thank and you. I hate the Ravens. I'm a Patriots fan. <laughs> I've had to wear the brunt of most stuff in my life. It's all good. I don't care who wins, but I'm probably <laughs> going to be... At least if the Ravens win, you can say you lost to the champs. <sighs> that would be awful. <laughs> uh, are we going to go score here? I'm going to probably say probably somewhere around like 17-23. Yeah. Get the Niners? Ravens. Ravens. No Niners. Quest one for their first loss. Hey, you got a lot to be happy about, though, Patriots fan. You see your team win three rings, arguably the second best quarterback to ever play in Tom Brady. Yep. So you've, you, you've had your fair share. It's time to spread uh, the wealth, dude. It is time to spread the love, but, you know, it's hard. It's, it's a good thing that we're there every year, you know, and that's what yeah. it's kind of like here. You know, you have the opportunity to win your division every yep. year and go to the playoffs, and you always have a chance to win the crown. So. All right, well, hey, Tommy, thanks for joining Thank us Thank you here, guys man. very best much. Of luck, man. Good job.